Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Reassembly with me, Lathrix. Like I said in the last video, there's a good chance I was going to come back to this race very briefly, just in order to make the spinner of my dreams, and that is my intention today. But in addition to that, sir and sirettes, I forgot to mention in the last video, so I've decided to simply wait until and post it in this one instead, I will be taking a straw poll for the um, next race, but I'll also be looking at comments in case any of you have a good idea about why I should pick a particular race. A particular race, rather. It's extremely late for me today. It's about 10pm um, right now, and I've been up all day recording, and I'm kind of in a very tired and silly mood. So this will be a short episode, so I just really wanted to say that. Again, there'll be a straw poll in the description. If that doesn't work, just make sure to copy and paste it into your, your URL, and of course it shall work. I will give it perhaps half a week before deciding, and then I will proceed to record the next season of Reassembly with me, Lathrix. So, without any further ado, let's actually get to the building. Now all that um, bother is gone. I am now nothing! Oh, I was hoping I'd, I'd literally become nothing, but apparently not. So, from my understanding, to make a spinner in this race, one would need to simply have a gun which was, um, or two guns which were not exactly equal, which were facing, oh no that's not the wrong word, which are facing something like this. So when I pressed fire, this one's firing like that, that one's firing like that, and thus the endless spinning would occur. At least I hope that's how it works. So we're going to just make this very quickly as a proof of concept, then if that works we'll actually make a ship around it. Doesn't have to be a particularly good ship, I just want it to be an amusing ship for my own personal benefit, and that's what we're doing. So transform! Yeah, like that! There we go, that's exactly what I was hoping for, except for obviously as it, as it gets more powerful, it'll become much faster. Okay, so that's the idea we're going to go with then, so let's uh, get rid of these. But first of all, I'm going to make an actual functional ship though still, because what I need to do then is to make sure that I actually have thrusters that will get me where I want to go. So, um, you know, I can actually get there to do the old shooty shooty. That's weird. It's not letting me... um copy pieces properly. Normally when you do that it works even if you do have the core inside because you simply copy everything but the core. Okay, there we go. That was weird. I didn't expect that to happen. Well, so the center is going to be similar to what I've got just now and it's, I'm going to have struts connecting this and in between these struts we are going to have, you've guessed it, a beautiful, beautiful shield. Yay. Which is actually a little bit smaller than I thought it was. I thought, I thought it was actually um, three wide. It was actually two wide. Well, that's not really a huge bother, honestly. Well, it's a slight bother, but not too much. Okay, so what we're going to do with that then is perhaps do this instead. There we go. And then we'll just copy that one more time. That way we have a huge amount of energy reserves ready to go whenever we so need it. And then I'm going to do this very quickly. So, grab that, put that there. Wait, no, that'd be the last one. That, yeah, okay. There we go, everything's good in the world. And it's all equal and nice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. How about so Oh, well, would you look at that? We can put solar arrays in it instead. There we go. All the problems in the universe have just been solved in one fell swoop. So, uh, obviously, we're going to need to be able to move and turn independently from the guns. And that's quite a big deal, honestly. So, let's go ahead and put some thrusters in. Like so, all nice and tightly. Oh, I love it when it, when it all when it, when when everything fits perfectly. I'm sorry if I stammer a bit today, but why so and so? I've been having a bit of a difficult time speaking of late. I'm actually th I'm actually considering going back to speech therapy, which is not the nicest of um, thoughts because the last time I went there, I got put on antipsychotics, which was like the most boring experience of my life. Trust me. Certain medications are very very dull, and that is one of them. So one thinking of doing is having it like this. Then we have another set of struts coming from this here, like so, as a bit of protection, and this will harbour the defence lasers, and after that we can consider where we actually put the um, guns in addition to the turning thrusters. I ha obviously, I haven't placed them yet either, which of course isn't exactly nice. Put that there, and put that there like this, and that's where the lasers are going to go, in between there. Uh, defence lasers, and we'll just put them all along. As of course it would be nice to still have, you know, anti-missile, anti-other stuff. Bit of um, stu bit of um, st stutter lag, which is very um, 
fortunate considering my speech. Stutter lag for the stuttering Let's Player. You know, before I actually used the name Lathrix, I was actually considering calling myself the Stammering Let's Player. Or something like that. I was thinking of different names to do with that for my uh, actual name. And I'm so glad I went with Lathrix, because it's so much better. There we are now. I still, I still don't know where the guns are going to go, but um, I kind of like this as like a cap. So what I'm going to do is copy this section. No, I can't do it, can I? Because that's got... Oh... Aha, uh -huh. well that's actually bu buggered some stuff up. Aha, now it's equal, you see? Because now what happens is it's like it's a thing, because it's like this side and this side are not... Yeah, yeah, yay. I kind of want this end on this side as well. But, how this has happened, it won't... Ooh, unless... That's not the right size. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, yeah. So we're going to have to have 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 the two sides different. That's not too much of an issue, really. It would just have been nice. That's all. So sideways thrusters. I'm thinking we could have the sideways thrusters in here instead of the forward all that. Because we already got a lot of forward thrust. We could just start adding some sideways inside here. It also means it's very very well protected, which of course is very very nice. Don't need too much, honestly. We just need enough so we can actually function. In the real world. The place with scary ships and all sorts of evil things. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Awesome. And everything's good. So what I could do is put all of them forward like this. And then we could have little thrusters coming out here. Oh, that's a nice way around it, isn't it? Actually gives some use to the area. Of course, I could put defense layers in or even generators. But I just don't really want them in that space. This is going to be really quick, by the way. At this rate, it's not, it's not even that mass. That it's not. It's not even that mass heavy yet, which I completely approve of because that's a rare thing for me. So now, how? Where do we put the guns and why? It'd be lovely if we didn't have them sticking out, but at this rate we might have to. Hmm. Have the gun in here and have shields on the side and have the same thing happen here. So that's a shot on the very end, isn't it? Like, yep, like this. Then that spike would at least just indicate where where I where 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 my front actually is, so when I'm um, using it I don't get confused, because I do actually get confused with that sometimes. When I have a ship which is which is completely symmetrical on both sides, it can be a bit of an issue sometimes, just just knowing where the hell forward is. How big is a velocity amplifier? Okay, so that will fit in there. Okay, that's fine. Cannon base. Goes there. There we have it, and then we go do the opposite here as well. And then we have a load of velocity amplifiers, because obviously they are what help us turn quickly. Followed by some range amplifiers, because they're freaking useful, you know, for actually hurting things. And finally, a right amplifier. Oh no, damage amp. Wow, no damage amps. That would be a little bit of an issue, considering it'd be a very weak but fast shooting cannon, which I don't really want. Oh, I've just had a thought. Oh, I've just had a devious little thought. Put that there. And put this here. Okay, well, follow with me, so and so. Now, this is very complex. It's really not. It's really simple. The idea is we have two of the cannons on either the right or the left mouse button and then we have the other two on the right or the left mouse button so we have like um, this cannon on left this cannon on left then this one on right if I can grab it, there we go and this one on right how about that? That what oh that's actually quite good. Oh that actually works. Yeah, it would work. Okay, we're good with that. I'm okay with that indeed. Oh, that's a I was gonna say, can I not fit in there? They can excellent. Um so how how are we going to shield this though? Because obviously we want this to be shielded. Don't really want it to come out too far though. Could do this and just have another then just have another strut like that.
there we go. There we go. I think the gun might need to be more powerful though than this. As it is quite a large ship. And now we've got the extra shield in, we can actually do that. So let's go like this, a few more velocity amplifiers. And then a couple more damage amplifiers as well. This is going to be a very large spinner, I'm not too happy with it honestly, because I think the best spinner would be small, but I want this to be like a proper battle cruiser, you know? I mean, we've got that stage now where, where I want to build everything big, because we're kind of just, you know, we're very large. We've, we've got maximum ship resource, and not using it seems wrong to me. There we go. And then we replace the last two as well. Ah, that means I'll have to rebind them. Okay, I'll rebind them straight afterwards. And there we have it. All those are sorted out. So, rebinding them. So, right now they're all on right fire. Don't want that. So, we want this one to go left, and then this one to also follow suit and go left. Yay, conformity! Why not? We have a factory. This is the factory ship, Sir and Sir Eds, Because why the hell not? I mean, there's a very, there's actually quite a few reasons why the hell not, but why the hell not really? Well, there's plenty of reasons why not really, but just, ooh, hello. Oh, would you look at that? That actually works. Didn't expect that. That's cool. It's a little crystal. That's nice. Oh, isn't that sweet? We could also um, sneak some thrusters in here as well to help turn. Just a couple, but we could. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So, the Spin Cruiser, or the Spoozer. Now, the Spin Cruiser. A nice and unoriginal name for me there. Okay, let's um, transform. It's going to take a second, though, so, threat. so back in a sec, once this is fully loaded, we'll see how it does. Okay, and we are back. And I am, I am yet to fire the guns. However, I do realise this thing is fast as hell. And I've also forgot to add the backwards thrusters, but that's a very easy fix we can do later. So... My thinking is it's going to run out of energy in about five seconds and do a really quick spin and then that's it. So let's find out if that's true. Pretty much. Um, that burns out a little bit too fast, actually. I think, I think we've simply got too many um, velocity amplifiers going on there. Yeah, definitely the, the uh, main problem there is far too many velocity amplifiers. Okay, so let's uh, go to editing then, quickly. At least this time all it's going to have to do is fix itself there. So let's um, take off three velocity amplifiers. Move back. And we'll test with three, then we'll test with um, a bit less, a bit less, a bit less, until eventually we get that sweet spot. Of course, if I wanted to make a true spinner, one of the ones which spin permanently, um, then I'd want a much, much smaller ship. I understand that completely. Don't worry, I do understand how to make a spinner. I've seen the proper spinners before, but I want to make a large one, you know, a proper warship that just happens to be able to spin. So, yeah, that should, um... Okay, this will load in, so once again, back in a second. Okay, it has fully loaded once again, and here's time for test number two. Three, two, one, spin! Okay, that was better, actually. That was much better. Okay, it lasted a little bit longer and meant we actually got the full cartwheel before he burnt out. Which is fine, honestly. Yay, we even killed something just then, even if it was just an asteroid. Okay, that I like. We... Wow, actually, you know what? We, we can permanently spin, but since um, only one gun will fire, but as long as it's the right gun, then we can actually spin permanently, just um, weaker once the first burn is over. And that's really trippy and kind of nice looking. One thing I will say is we're definitely too short. Actually, no, we're not too short range. Okay, I'm actually happy with that. Let's go and capture a base. I'll definitely perfect this in the um, weeks and days to come, and then I'll figure out my own special brand of spinner. Hello, enemy. Wee! There goes one, there goes two, there goes three. <laughs> That's wonderful. There goes four. Four have been popped by it. It's like, it's like, look at the draw. Are you going to be hit or not? Ah, that was nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. This is good against little guys. There we go. Killed one, killed two in our first in the first shot there. Let's do it again. Killed one that time. There's loads of them everywhere. Killed two with that one. <laughs> That's glorious. Okay. 
I like that, Zone Jets. I like that. So, anyway, like I said, this, only, this is only going to be a short video just to indicate there's a straw poll now for the next race. Thank you all for being so supportive of um, Reassembly. All your likes, favourite share. Everything's been absolutely brilliant. Your comments have been so sweet. So, thank you all so much. And, of course, as always, likes, favourite shares, comments on this video. Help out me, help out the channel, and ensure that Reassembly will come back in the near future with another race. Straw poll link will be in the, in the description, and I'll probably drop it in the comment section as well. If it doesn't work, Feel free to copy and paste it into your URL and that should get it to work. So thank you for watching, have a lovely day, do take care, until next time, goodbye.